What started as a pilot program in St. Paul has now become a staple of 21st century policing in Minnesota. More than two dozen departments across the state now use the Vitals app, which alerts officers when they encounter someone with a disability. Danny Spiewak explains how it works and why it's growing in popularity. It just runs in the background of our phone. Acting Chief Gary Rutherford calls it revolutionary. His Farmington Police Department is the latest to roll out Vitals, an app that lets officers know when they're near someone with a disability and then shows them a profile of the person they're encountering. And we have it at the tip of our fingers, you know, including caregiver contact information, de-escalation techniques, triggers for this particular party. Vitals works like this. Family members can create profiles for free for relatives with autism, bipolar disorder, schizophrenia, or other conditions. Then that person carries an electronic beacon, which alerts officers or first responders when they come within 80 feet. Just having that information available immediately to us in the field, that's the most critical component. Vitals launched in St. Paul last year in partnership with the Autism Society of Minnesota. It's going to make the world incredibly so much more accessible for people with disabilities. Now, Vitals says more than 1,500 families have created profiles, which can even include videos to calm someone down during a crisis. Hey, babe, the people that are with you are keeping you safe. Developed in Minnesota, the Vitals app is now used by 26 agencies in this state and two in Ohio. Apple Valley Police launched Vitals earlier this year. It doesn't store the information. As Captain Nick Francis showed us, officers can only view profiles within the 80-foot range. We're hoping more community members step on with, with their side of it and get the beacons so they're able to um, get that information to us in, in really in times of crisis. Danny Spiewak, Care 11 News.